Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marmoset, and we are back with Crusader Kings 2. Well, we're not back. We're starting with Crusader Kings 2. We've got a mod on. We're going to have a look at this. We're going to go to the custom setup in 792. So you see, what would be a very busy place of kingdoms and like is now just lots of counts because we've shattered the world into counties. No kingdoms, no empires, no duchies, just things. And we're going to play a game. It's 769, and we're going to see how much of India we can conquer in this very small amount of time. Before one, the year 1000 is our target. Normally the game runs until like 1450. A bit long. Let's just go to the year 1000 and see how much we can get. Um, I think that's a perfectly acceptable visage for our random character. Our coat of arms. A double-headed goose. I quite like that. I'm not too sure about the colour scheme. What do we do about the background? Let's make this in black. And we have a blue. There we go. Nice. Can't really change any of the other things on here, apparently. Two geese. Two swords. Let's go with two geese. And then our attributes. Well, I want to be... I'm going to change my education. Well, actually, happy with that. Happy with the culture. Happy with religion. We're not married. We are going to randomize the name. That one sounds fine. And we're going to get one of these that I can pronounce. Sonhat. I can pronounce Sonhat. We are going to be a tough soldier. Because through continuous fighting, we are going to get better at these kind of things. And then there's things when you fight, you get better at these things. Uh, you fight when you get f when you fight, you get better at fighting. When you don't fight, when you're in the other ones fighting, it's very much harder to get anything. So we don't take a f try and get a few years back so we can spend on other things. Um, stubborn vassals don't tend to like you. Diplomacy is not that good. Don't really want to be dull or a cannibal. Uh, I think we will probably take the vassal opinion one those variations of Buddhism and I think we will be a little bit cynical should try and guess ourselves right, so we're now at 18 so let's put a few points into martial stewardship let's go up to the age of 25 dump learning up a little bit and then two more points in martial so we should quite quickly get better at combat through improving a tough soldier I'm pretty happy with that. Thakur and Nanuka of Kanyabaya. Our dynasty is Sonhat of the Team Geese. Finish and play. So gender equality is on all. So everyone can marry pretty much anyone apparently. Uh, interface marriages are open. Adventurers are going to be slightly rarer. Everything else I've got is pretty much default with the exception that I've got Shattered Retreat off. So if you get beated, beaten in combat, you just pimple onto the next bit. Done. Unfortunately, because of the options we've got, the mod, I managed disabled, achievements are disabled. Now, we've lost our spy master apparently, and we've lost our steward. We are a Hindustani Buddhist Takur, which basically means count. No special features for being Hindustani. We can control forts, build cities, temples. Women may own temple holdings, no penalties for female heirs and rich for being a Buddhist. You can take three concubines, any valid heir as an offspring apparently. There isn't here, there's no religious head. Okay, so this is full of important decisions that are old duchies on kings of all empires. That's from the mod. Hopefully, it'll go away. You apparently have arrived in my court. No, no, you have apparently left my court. Okay, fair enough. No heir. Open council positions. Okay. Uh, you would make a good steward, and you would make a good spy master. Happy with both those things. Title on succession. We need family. Ruler unmarried. And, well, we can fix one of the immediate ones. We would like to. Get married. Done. Ruler unmarried. Oh, you're interesting. Why, why did I pick this one? Because of all the holdings. Nice. Lots of holdings. So we stand a chance, slight chance of having a bit more. Our levy's a little small right now. Hopefully we'll be able to get that increased in a little bit. Ruler is unmarried. Well, we've taken the ambition. Who's available? An 11-year-old girl or us? Spy mistress. Alright, well, looks like we're marrying our spy master. Uh, it's gonna tank our prestige. Getting married. Royal duty. Do I want 10 gold or 13 prestige? I prestige pack, actually, because you get opinion of that. And if you get higher your prestige, the more opinion you get of it. Make a character focus. Hunting. Why? I want the marshal and I want the health. 
We should try and live as long as we possibly can. Minor titles. We should designate... Oh, yeah. These guys. Designate a regent. Um, whoever likes us the most. Yes. Master of the Hunt. Who's slightly grumpy about our existence? You're not a vassal. I would like a bit more opinion with you. I just want my vassals. Just to kind of improve the opinion of the people who are my direct vassals. Oh, court poet. Um, you're my wife. Cynical versus Lair. Different Buddhist tradition. Minus one to prestige. Let's make you the court poet. I don't have that in mind. Sort of thing. My spy master is also one of my commanders. Uh, no. Leave. You're just a courtier. It's fine. And you are just a generic courtier. It's fine by me. She got some half decent morale damage and morale defense bonuses. You have a defense bonus. That's nice. All right. Those are my two guys for that. Laws need to be in command for a while before we can change any of those ones. Technology. First rank on those ones, half rank in this. That will tick out those. Lots of numbers are very zero at the moment because we've not had a chance to let time tick on. Don't really want to worry about all those ones. Present deputy, remove new cause bellow. Alright, that's the shattering thing. Hold a tiger hunt! 25 gold. Most of my money. Sounds interesting. Tiger hunting is a noble sport! Alright. Hold a feast, search for a guru, worry about those later. No factions, because the thing is so tiny. Religion, we hold. We hold none of the sites. Three of them are actually held by Buddhists, two of them are not. It'd be nice if we could try and get those back. Those are our two of our religious folk, because in our province we've got two cities, two temples, and a fort. This is our fort has the level one stables and nothing else in it. That would be why we don't really have much in the way of a levy. Alright, so we need to assign our council to what they should be doing. I would let you do improve relations with my immediate neighbours. Train troops. Want more levy. Collect taxes. Um, can I send you to study technology anywhere yet? No, apparently everyone's kind of at the same level. Technology. Perhaps it needs to just, let's just unpause for a little bit. Yes, surely the emotions here. The Chancellor sent you a gift. Small puppy, a hunting dog straight away. I will be very happy with this. I will name it Tricky. Mara? Let's call it Mara. Need a new ambition. Let's uh, pick time down to slowest. Uh, I would be very much liking of a daughter. No idea if that will actually have any effect. My wife dislikes me. Cynical versus... Zealous versus cynical. Different Buddhist tradition. Prestige. Uh, we're hoping the prestige will tick up. No heir to my dynasty. Yep, I know about that one. We were busy assigning counter positions. So, just looking at the technology stuff. Map mode. Okay, so it's pretty much the same everywhere. Slightly improved in some other places. So, does that mean that now... No, I can't send her. Can't send my wife very, very, very far away. So, as it is, my dear, listen at doors. Put the spy network in case I need to plot. And do you... Cultural tech, improve religious relations. So, you will talk to yourself about how good I am and improve my opinion of you. Um, there's no need to proselytize because, ooh, let us hope so. Ooh, reinforcement rate, thank you very much. We are no mixed religions, so the tech spread will probably help. It's better than doing nothing. The Chancellor. Alright, so, my military getting is ticking up bit by bit so we're essentially just going to sit on a slightly higher speed while we look at who can we attack everyone apparently we've got CBs on nearly everyone and these are subjugation and wars of aggression all right so you've got 315 levy 528 397 419 oh good dog quickly pause it there keen nose good character 
Um, why should I double check? What's our du jour duchy? One, two, three, four, five, six, apparently. Order 19. Alright, so it appears that you are much, much weaker than me. So if we were to pause, our army now stands at nearly twice yours. Alright, so what's our options for declaring war on you, my unfortunate nearby person? Um, I just noticed, like, apparently I can take him as a concubine. Um, I don't immediately going to try that. Um, but let's go to my court. Do I have any unmarried men? They do. 35 year old lowborn, he's older than me. 37. My steward. You're 27. You're exceptionally talented, uh, on learning. What's, uh, my current councilman? There's a 19 as well. Alright, that's interesting to hear. So if I right click on you. So you are my, my commanders. Nope. Slightly screwy on terms of who are giving me the option of apparently trying to take this guy as a concubine. You plot to kill his wife. Mostly what to do is plot to kill you through the power of war. So what's a war of aggression? We would take a monthly prestige hit, diplomacy hit, and a general opinion would hurt, so our prestige would go down even more. If we win the war for a year, we get 2.5 negative prestige, ow, and minus three diplomacy, but people don't like us quite so much. Okay, so we'd aggressively expanded, and if we win, we become the liege of this new place. Alright, well I'm hoping that the AI is also going to be quite so aggressive, so we're going to declare a war of aggression on you with your tiny army. Military. Let's raise both of these up. So this is decreased now because it's based on the opinion of my vassals because I am declaring a aggressive war. They're less interested. So I, with my 30 martial score, would like to be commanding the centre. And you, with your morale damage, should be counting, commanding our tiny flank. Uh, we do apparently have five dudes from somewhere else. I will roll them into that flank. Um, and then we are going to knock speed down. We are basically going to do a competition to see who can get their morale up highest fast. What are you doing? We're just staring at each other. So we'll check again. So we, are, we do have the ability to keep our entire army raised. We have enough cash. We make 2.04. Our army costs uh, 1.94. So come on, come on, fill in. Well, actually, this is just 47 dudes on my flank, whereas my center is absolutely fine. So let's, uh, well, actually, can we go, let's go into Mathura briefly. So this has river panties between us and everywhere, but it doesn't have a river crossing from Gwalior. All right. So the reason I'm doing it pathing like that is because our army sizes are close enough that it is no way, shape or form in my interest um, to commit to an attack. I should realize these guys were at full morale. I should have just hit him straight away. Trying to avoid a river crossing. River crossings from my province. Across the Ganges, but there isn't one. To Cole. Alright, so if I go to Cole, he's gonna go to there, and now I can now attack him. I will arrive on the 15th. He is not running away. Combat is engaged! First episode, and we're already fighting. So he's got a tiny flank. Right, so my flank is engaged, and my flank is lost. However, Ah, my liege. So you are now having an improved opinion of me. A little bit. Aggressively expanding. Oh. I've gone up to an eight. Because of improved relations. So our heavy center thing has utterly routed these guys. These guys should then collapse and collapse and collapse and collapse. Done! Victory at the siege, because technically it was a siege which we lifted. And there we go. We got 35 war score. We gained 1.5 prestige. Karma gained in battle, none. Military points, none. 
So we lost 87, we killed 158. And I believe that's the person we were trying to capture. So we have a choice now. We could... Having him captured is basically all of the war scholars. We get it immediately. We don't even need to worry about sieging it down. So we have the option of if we were to ransom him... He does not have the 70 gold. So if he did have the 70 gold, there'd be an argument to ransoming him and then continuing the war. However, while his garrison of here is very small, we'd have to siege all of this, and that's just going to take time and men and money, basically. Whereas now I have him captured, I can simply offer peace. Yes. Done. Set the title of Thika of Kala from Sadta Pa Rashwasha. Done. War of Aggression has ended. You stand down. So now my levy is this much. Now, this will slowly increase over time. I mean, it's recently conquered. It's very busy and all the rest of it, but... We've got new vassals. What's your opinion of me? Aggressively expanded. Alright, so aggressively expanding went away. I now have aggressively expanded for a month. Now we hold two. So if we wish to create the duchy with this one... Create it, we need to hold 51%, so four of them, and we can create the duchy. We currently hold two, alright? We would need a lot of money. Okay, well, we should probably wait for the aggressive expansion and for our levies. Yeah, our levy to recover back up, so let's knock the speed all the way back up again. Hey, my wife is pregnant. Zoom all the way out, and if we uh, go down to the ledger, demands, realm, levies, religions, characters, dynasty, vassals, all vassals, court, and states, wars. So there are plenty of wars have kicked off. So the AI is doing something. It's not sat around doing nothing. Can't flick it so you can see just the duchies. So, when does aggressively expanded wear off? January. Let's wait on that one. Oh, my wife is pregnant, so the title loss of succession should go away pretty soon. Quite a zoomed in one for quite a while, as we just pay very careful attention to what's going on. So, what we probably can do is move you to our new position, so you can improve the relationship we have. Those troubles and peasants. You've managed to piss everybody off. <laughs> Thank you, my steward. I mean, can I? you right, The highest I've got is a 10. Alright, so I don't have anyone I can remotely replace you with. That's kind of disappointing. Let's just carry on, then, shall we? Don't really want to burn all my karma. A new air! Your character dies, now he plays Nonat Sonhat. Nonoka Sonhat. It's the same name as me. I don't want the same name as me. Um, I don't know any Indian names. Let's just grab someone from our vassal list, shall we? Uh, I see someone, we've got someone in our court called A-N-U-P-P-A-L. Anupal. Anupal. Let's look at our boy. He is of that caste. He has a particular type of Buddhism. He has no other stats or opinions. We're not going to arrange for his marriage just yet. Leave that be. Jain or Hindu. We are waiting for... Ooh. Rumor here that one of your locals might be corrupt. Implicate one of your enemies here. Then use it as you see fit. It's my wife. My liege. Allegations of corruption. Fine, I collected. Oh, 50 gold. Thank you, dear. That is a lot of money you have just found for me. Uh, we want our capital province. We can now do an upgrade. I would really like to do the keep. Right, council walls does give us a little bit more cash and small amount. Fortification doesn't do very much for us at all. What we're doing right now is the stables. I would ideally like to do a castle town, first and foremost, to get the extra cash. So we're earning 0.3 a month right now. Or 0.3 a month. 
opinion. Nobody likes me because I expanded aggressively. What I am interested in is when that goes away... Personal Diplomacy minus two, because I expanded aggressively. A year has passed since I lived aggressively over my... took over there. Memory of the war is... Memory of the war was not just, it's seemingly been forgotten. Perhaps I should do it again! <laughs> but I don't want to be bothered about it next time. What would be not fine next time this modifier turns out? I would like to know when this ticks off, thank you very much. So, opinion of me, minus two because of personal diplomacy. So apparently I've got personal diplomacy of six. My dog gives me extra, which is nice. It'd be nice if we could have more. Having some prestige would probably help. But I'm feeling vicious, so my vassal is my levy is now up to this. Apparently because this place eighth of January seven seven one. Well it's the thirteenth of January, so I was kinda of expecting that one to have worn off. There we go. So that levy will now actually start to recover a little bit. Very slowly. Uh, with that in mind, actually, let us... What's this do? Reinforcement rate plus 85% levy size. Now we are better off keeping that our uh, marshal in here. Alright, while I plat and plon, and plon and plit and plot, and other words beginning with P that may, re P that may revolve in doing nasty things, a new bird's arrived in the muse. A new book. I would go falconry. While we work out what happens with our new bird, I be the Marmoset. This has been Crusader Kings 2 with our Shattered India campaign. The objective is to see how far we get before the year 1000. Given how easy it is to do that first war is going to be and how quickly we might snowball, this might turn out to be quite a short campaign. Hopefully, given the nature of Crusader Kings 2, weird things will start to happen and we'll get really enjoying the plotting and the, nerve and the various unpleasant things. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.